What's up YouTube? This is my first official video. I know I had a previous video, but that was a pre-launch video. I'm gonna share with you what I believe are the best free video editing apps. Now these are not in any particular order, but I'll let you know which one I believe is the top one. Avid has led the NLE game for a long time, and I really like that they offer Media Composer first as a free option. Disclaimer, I've been editing on Avid since the late 90s, so I may have a little blind liking towards it. While this version is limited, I believe you have enough tools here to import, cut, and deliver in as high as 1080p DNX HD or H.264, perfect for YouTube, social, web, and some broadcasts depending on their network standards. One thing that I really like in this free version is they didn't disable some of their base audio plugins that I find very useful. And as I'm writing this, I just received an email for 350 free, royalty-free sound effects. That's pretty cool. DaVinci Resolve. This is hands down my number one favorite free editor. It has everything you need to edit, color, track, stabilize, audio mix to deliver in as high as 2160p UHD. Blackmagic continues to add and improve this app. Even on my older 2011 iMac, I can edit with few lags. You can import, export sequences from other NLEs. So there is no reason you shouldn't be using this app even if it's just for color grading. DaVinci Resolve has read every file I've thrown at it. I can't recommend it enough. Also, if you decide to purchase a studio version, you pay $300 once and that's it. No subscription fees. So these offerings from Avid and Blackmagic, they're at the top of my list for a reason. They're pro apps. And well, if your YouTube channel or your project just happens to go south, now you have experience with professional apps that you find in post houses and networks, and you can pretty much get a job anywhere. Some other options if you don't have a Mac and iMovie, try Shotcut, yet I prefer OpenShot. And while I think Adobe Premiere Rush is much better than these two, they killed it with the three export share limit. Adobe really should offer this as a free app the way Avid and Blackmagic have a free entry level option. I really like the idea of Rush being on iOS, Windows, and Mac OS and sharing across devices. So there you have it. Those are my thoughts. I would definitely give Avid and Blackmagic a look. They're free, professional, and you have nothing to lose. If you found this video useful, like it, sub it, and leave me your comments because I would love to know what your thoughts are so I can create better videos for my next episodes.